you for watching. I just wanted to do um, a quick vlog all about what you're going to need as a student nurse during your nursing studies. This is Joey. Say hi, Joey. Say hi. Well, that's rude. <laughs> Joey wanted to come up and say hello to everybody. This is our dog and he's beautiful. I love him. He's not feeling too good at the minute. He's got bad legs, so he's been a bit needy and a bit cuddly. And he wants lots of love. So he's going to help with the video, apparently. <laughs> so firstly, I wanted to talk you through stationery. So during your nursing studies, you're going to need to write so much notes, loads and loads of notes in your lectures, at home, when you're revising. Do you think so? Yeah? Okay. He thinks so too. So my advice is get loads of stationery, get as many colours as you can, loads of colours if you like, I mean if you don't like that sort of thing don't get them obviously, but I like to colour things in, I like to doodle, I like to highlight things, I like to do little bubbles. I've got a pencil case as well full of felt tips, different coloured Bix, these Bix are amazing. There's a pack of eight but there's four different colours. There's pink, purple, green and blue um, and it's a pack of eight of Bix, They're, I love them, they're the best things to ever to write with. So get yourself some good pens, um, and they don't have to be expensive, I say good pens, but they don't have to be expensive, you can go to Poundland and get them, um, you can go to Wilkinson's, I get a lot of my stuff from Wilkinson's to be honest because it's so cheap. Got this pad, it's got little dividers in, um, so you can section all of your work, that's really good, so you can put different modules into different sections, you know, because you've got bits and notes everywhere, it's good to keep all of your notes in one place, in one folder. And that, I got that from B&M's I think, was it B&M's? I think it was B&M's for like £2, doesn't have to be expensive at all. People always rush out and think, oh I need to get the best things, but no, you're just going to be writing. Just, you know, get what's cheap and cheerful. We are student nurses, we can't afford these things. My next thing is get a load of folders. I've got four of these so far, I'm just in second year. I've had one for each module. Um, so yeah, and some dividers for your folders. So I've got my folder, I've got my little dividers again. It just, it really helps to section everything off. Get yourself some plastic wallets as well to put all your um, PowerPoint slides in if you print those off. If you don't, that's fine. Um, they've saved my life. These are saved from Sainsbury's. I think they were like one ninety nine or something for 100. You could probably get them cheap on eBay as well, so make sure you look on eBay. Flashcards. Flashcards are the best thing I ever purchased. Um, get yourself some flashcards. I got these. These flashcards, I got these off eBay and it was, I think, £2 for a hundred. Is it £2 for a hundred? Something like £2 for a hundred with free postage. And I've used them, I've, oh, that's all I've got left from my 100 because I've used them all from my revision session, this um, module. But it just depends how you like to work. If you like things in colours and things, get a load of colours, highlighters, really helps um, highlight things out. Um, if you like writing in black and white, just paper, black pen, <laughs> it's up to you. It depends how you study um, and what you're going to need but you're definitely going to need to make notes there's no doubt about it so get your pens get your paper doesn't have to be expensive can get it really cheap also i've got a pad as well that i got from wilkinson's and i think it was 99p for some a4 ruled pad um just get a couple of those you're gonna need it so there you go next top tip is get yourself some comfy 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 shoes they have to be all black this isn't for university, this is for your placements. So for your placement, you need comfy shoes. They have to be all black. I think you can wear navy as well. Um, they've got to be, but check your university's um, guidelines about footwear because each university might have different things, but I know it's standard. You should have leather shoes that cover your whole foot um, and they've got to be black. These are the ones I've got. These are from Clark's. They're called Unloop and if you go online, they are a bit expensive, they're £65 online through Clark's, but if you've got a local outlet or factory near you, I know there's one in Birmingham at Perry Bar, this is where I got mine from, they're 45 I've still got the label inside, £45, <laughs> that, is how, that is all they are, and that still sounds expensive, but you'll be, these will last you for like the whole three years and beyond, because they're good quality, 
they're so comfortable these are the comfiest things I've ever worn they're like wearing trainers um, your feet are going to be in heaven on on the wards doing a 12 hour shift in these um, and yeah but as long as you don't have to pay that price if you don't want to if you haven't got the money I mean throughout first year I used my HCA shoes which I didn't because I couldn't afford it I didn't have the money for all these new shoes um, but I did some extra bank shifts I've managed to get myself a bargain 45 pound shoes uh, and I'm jobbed but these are called Unloops I will put the link below so that you can go and have a look um, but as long as your shoes are black cover your feet leather they have to be that way because you know you could get um you could drop a needle on your foot you don't want that going into your foot you could be emptying a catheter and the catheter's gone all over your foot your feces urine blood you just don't know what's going to drop on your feet so it's better to have your foot protected than have it go through onto your foot and it's a bit grim really isn't it <laughs> So, as you can see, I have a whole pile of books and I'm not going to lie, I haven't, I haven't used any of them, I'm not going to lie. I've got so many books and I got them from friends, I've got them from eBay and um, Amazon, but I mean I got most of them from friends, like second hand from friends. If you go online, there's a couple of Facebook groups as well. If you go on the nurse and Facebook groups, people are giving them away. But to be honest, for me personally, I, I can't sit and read from a book and learn that way. I prefer to watch a YouTube video. I like to go through my revision notes and things from lectures. I prefer to Google things, proper websites, <laughs> um, legit websites, phys physiology sites. The Khan Academy is fantastic. I'm going to put the links below. But do you know what? I have four books that I have read and I love and the one you will use is your bible and this is it this is your bible the bnf my work they got a whole load of new bnfs in so they gave me their old one which i'm very grateful for and if you go into any pharmacy tell them you're a student nurse and ask them if they've got any old bnfs that you could have and they will give you it for free so because they've always got they get updated every single year so this bnf it's got it's full it's the British National Formulae, 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 um, it's for all your medications, every single medication is in there and you will need that throughout, this is the only thing that I've, I've used as my bible, if you take anything away from this video, get yourself this. The next one that I really really love is this one, um, again I'll put the links below to all these things, this is amazing, it just breaks everything down so simple, it's all about drugs, how they work in the body, um, the physiology of it all and everything, it's fantastic, this again is just been a lifesaver, so that combined with that, because you need that <laughs> to pass your course, um, and then what else, oh this one, this one is amazing, Anatomy and Physiology colouring book, and it does it really helped me to remember the sections and everything um it's fantastic get yourself one of those as well again links are going to be below for all of this the next book i have my very last book this one the student nurse's guide to successful 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 i can't even read um <laughs> reflection and this is by one of our lecturers at bcu um called nicola clark and she's just fantastic we had a lecture with her for our very first assignment and she was just brilliant and she's brought out this book about all about reflection and of highlighted things this is fantastic because you're gonna need to reflect when you qualify it's nmc requirement that you do a reflection every single year as part of your revalidation so you will need to reflect you will need this <laughs> not this particular one but this one is fantastic it's simple it, she's broken it down so much she's put in little exercises she's put in exercises for you to do and complete um, you have to answer some questions so it really helps you understand all about reflection and how to be successful at reflection and now this I got this off Amazon I think it was reduced from like 50 pounds to a fiver it's a manual blood pressure set and it all fits in this little tiny leather case and it's fantastic it's the best thing that I've ever bought and it's really really helped me um, learn how to do a manual blood pressure um, you've got the cuff 
the cuff there with the little um, gauge on it you've got your stethoscope so there it is you've got your stethoscope you've got your blood pressure bump it's just amazing because you are going to have to if you're going to BCU I don't know about other universities but one of the exams is you have to do a manual blood pressure you get marked on it so get one of those it's the best thing I ever bought and if you really 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 have some money to spend go and buy yourself a Littman telescope because that is the best steph telescope the best stethoscope I've ever I've ever had and luckily I didn't buy it because I've got a lovely partner who bought me mine for me a year ago for my birthday and I'm going to show you it now here it is this is my Littman stethoscope and it's beautiful I was laughing because I remembered that I put a little badge. I'm on my GP placement and um, we've got these stickers. I was brave today. Um, I put that in there, but this is my stethoscope. It's pink, it's got a little rainbow on it. It's engraved. Just absolutely, it's beautiful. And now I'm on my GP placement. I can use it, I use it all the time. I take it to placement with me and I just love it. It's so nice, it's beautiful. Now, for university, you will have a uniform. Um, I think every single university does this. You have to have a uniform, student nurse uniform, for when you go out on your placement. They will give you this. It's free. I get four uniforms for um, Birmingham City University. They give us four uniforms. And I'm going to show you my uniform now. Ta-da! This is my uniform. Um, what you'll need for placement as well, a fob watch. And you can get those really, really cheap online, 99p or something. Um, so make sure you've got yourself a fob watch, um, get yourself a little notepad for when you're out on placement, um, just to write notes in as you go along, I've got like where the ECGs should go. And this is my uniform, ours is white which is a nightmare to keep clean but luckily it's still clean, I'm second year now, I wash it on 90 and I put vanish <laughs> in the wash. Um, I've got navy blue trousers, um, my black shoes. Um, I've got two stripes because I'm in second year, so I've got the red one for first year, blue one for second year, and then I'll have another blue one when I get to third year, which I'm really excited for. Um, so yeah, so this is it. Um, I've took my earrings out. I do have little silver studs, which I put in sometimes. I have a nose ring, but I take that out for placement, obviously. I put my hair in a little bun, sometimes two buns. Um, but as long as your hair's off your collar, it's up, it's out the way, it's professional, it's not going to drop into anything, um, be alright. My next top tip is get yourself some hand cream because you're constantly, constantly washing your hands, alcohol gel on your hands, they're going to get red, they're going to get sore, they're going to get dry. It's a lovely life as a student nurse. <laughs> um, I've got this um, salted coconut hand scrub from Lush and it's amazing. It makes your hands feel like they've just come out of spa. Obviously if you've got any eczema or dermatitis or anything like that, you might just have to check what you can use. I think um, you can take your own like bottles of Dermal and things to wash your hands with if, that, if you've got skin problems, that's fine. They're quite lenient like that. But if you haven't and you can use products like this, Salted Coconut Hand Scrub from Lush is amazing. They do a coconut hand cream as well. I've run out, but their coconut hand cream is so good. And if you just pop into Lush and ask them and just say, um, just ad some advice as a student nurse, what's good for your hands, um, they will advise you. They're really good. They'll point you in that direction. If that fails and you don't want to, don't want to go to Lush, there's other products obviously available. You can just get some cheap hand creams from Boots or Superdrug. Um, also a hemp cream. Hemp cream's really good for your hands. Sometimes I'll put it on before I wash my hands just to protect my hands and then I'll wash my hands and it makes me feel better I suppose. But sometimes I do that. But um, there are hemp creams out there that are really good for your hands and they're not so greasy so just look for a non-greasy hand cream and you'll be sorted. Another thing you might need is a good bag. I mean I personally prefer to have a backpack because it's even on your shoulders, put everything in, no stress. Have a big enough bag to put all your books in, um, put your laptop if you have a laptop in, iPad, anything like that. Now I've got so many backpacks because I love them so much. I've got blue, I've got pink, I've got red, I've got white. Um, but this is my uni backpack. I got mine from Kath Kitson. Um, this was a Christmas present, but you can get them really cheap in the sale. 
and it has a little section at the back to put your laptop you put your laptop and any papers in to put them all straight and it's padded and then this monster of a bag is my placement bag because um, when you go to placement you're not supposed to wear your uniform so I wanted a big enough bag to put all my uniform in put my lunch in it needs to be big to be honest um, and again in there you've got a section I usually fold my, unif my uniform top so it's neat and I put it in there so it keeps it straight and yeah this one was from where was it from oh it's from Costco I got this from Costco for like a tenner it was a bargain you could probably find it on eBay high Sierra high Sierra I don't even know what type of bag it is but it's padded as well the arms are padded it's got a bit for your mobile this is so good for placement I really really love it it's one of my favorites but again it's up to you personal preference what you're comfortable with but you will need a bag for university either way and um, you might already have one. I mean, don't go and buy a new one if you've already got one that you can use. There's no point. Oh, I've completely forgot to add this into my video, so I'm just doing this quickly now. So if you haven't heard of this company, the Happy Planner Company, links below. Please have a look because they're incredible. And look what you get. So you get this. Sorry, it's a bit of a mess. I should have organised this better. Nursing is a work of heart bag with a matching lanyard. It says the exact same thing. Um, it's just beautiful. You get the reflective nursing journal, which is exactly what it says on the book, a reflection journal. And this is amazing. A week to view um, planner for nursing students. It's fantastic. Let me just have a look. Um, so you have your course details, you've got useful contacts, and then you'll have your list, your calendar list for you to write things in, what you're doing, your home life, to-do list, all of that. At the back, you've got some stickers. How exciting. Everyone loves a sticker, surely. So you can take them out, put them in. This bit's laminated. So that's your revision um, guide. So it's laminated, so you can use a white marker. Meal plan, what you're going to have. Um, you've got notes at the back. You've got beautiful quotes throughout the book. Um, you've got notes. That's my important dates that I wrote there. Um, you've got placement learning objectives I've filled that in that's my placement learning objectives it was the most objectives I've ever had because I'm a GP placement and I wanted to learn so much um, mileage you've got financial um, budget guides you've got childcare hour charts so you can keep track of your childcare if you have children your reference lists so you've got the um, books I'll read so you can put the authors keep your references safe assignment Assignment details, assignment results, you can put that in there. Placement hours completed. There's just so much. Placement hours completed. Another amazing quote. The quotes are beautiful if you read them. And then, then you've got this. You get this little paper week to view planner. You put the date and what you're doing that week. I usually have that up there on my desk. And then I've got these milestone cards which are just amazing and I wish I had these before I started um, my nursing because they're so good and if you like to post things on social media and take pictures this is amazing um, you can write your notes on the back of them so here we are today I need more coffee <laughs> someday you will get that today I passed year three. Oh, I can't wait to put that one on today, today I passed year two today I passed year oh no just today I passed sorry <laughs> empowered a patient which you used to do every day but they're just fantastic and they're a great present for somebody if anybody is out there wanting a present or looking for a present for someone that's a student nurse these are fantastic they are so good and they really made my day and yeah so this is a whole pack this set comes together but you can also buy them separately if you don't want any of the others and it's just fantastic. It'd make a perfect gift for someone. If you're watching this and you're thinking, what do I get a student nurse? This is amazing. It's the best thing ever. And I really love it. And that's just go and check them out. So that's it. That's everything I know that I need for my student nurse journey so far. If anyone else is watching this and they think, oh, she forgot to say this or you know, I use this but she doesn't use that, please comment, let people know, comment below, I'd love to hear what you use and what you find good, especially with the hand creams and things, if you've got any advice for hand creams, um, stationary bags, anything like that, comment below, 
let's help each other out, we're all student nurses, we're all in this together and always remember to go cheap, don't go expensive, get as cheap as possible, search eBay, search Amazon, um, scour Facebook groups as well for freebies, like the books. <laughs> oh this one, I didn't show you this one, sorry. So this Ross and Wilson book, apart from me and probably one other student, everybody else uses this. Everyone I've spoke to, anyone on Facebook groups, sites, they always recommend the Ross and Wilson Anatomy and Physiology book. And it is good, it's not that it's not good, that's why I don't use it. I just prefer to go online and um, use physiology sites and YouTube videos, that's just my personal preference. So go and get yourself Ross and Wilson Anatomy and Physiology if you really want a good physiology book that's the one to have. So that's it. I mean, I've got no more advice. If anyone else has got any advice, please comment below. If I've missed anything out, comment below. Um, it's really good to hear from other students. Um, I love watching other people's YouTube videos. So if you're a student nurse, comment below. I need to watch your videos. And just, yeah, I hope someone's found this video useful. Good luck with your nursing studies. It's gonna be amazing. If you've got any questions, Comment, like, follow, go find me on Twitter, message me and I shall speak to you all soon.